guys, I got another do-it-yourself project I've been working on myself, um, my days off, making a greenhouse. I don't know about you guys, but if you read the boxes and the labels, I've been freaking out. My wife's been showing me, but the majority of stuff that's in your cabinets, read the boxes and you're going to see bioengineered ingredients, bioengineered food. Like for real, this is what I use, right? I love my French vanilla and the coffee. But look, where do you go? Contains bioengineered food ingredients. Oh, come on. Not my goldfish cheddar. I used to eat these when I was a kid like crazy. My kids love them. But looky, looky. So it says all this stuff, right? All of these crazy things that are in it. Then look right down there. Where did it go? Contains right there. Bioengineered food ingredients. It's not up here where people look in the fine print. No, no, Natural Valley Crunchy Peanut Butter. Another snack in our cabinet. My daughter loves these. And again, shows all those cool things. But looky, looky, get down to the bottom. Right there at the very bottom. Contains bioengineered food ingredients. Now, when you look at these, you think, oh, 100% whole grain wheat thins. This looks like it could be good. This might be a good thing, right? But... You go up here, you see all that fun stuff, then you get to the bottom, and right there at the bottom, ingredients derived from bioengineered source. Now there's some good old mixed chili beans, good old Walmart, all this fun stuff that it states, right? But looky here, contains bioengineered food ingredients. Now I don't know about all that crazy crap. I got the good Lord bless me with the property here. I wanna grow. I showed you how a video I was showing you guys how to make the above ground boxes. I had to do that here in East Tennessee too. One, I don't want to be bending over. Two, everything grows in the ground like crazy, wild bushes. It's insane. Every time my garden just is overgrown, it's a pain in the butt. So hopefully with these above ground, that'll help us. But I want to be able to start my own seeds, possibly grow some stuff inside of here, keep it away from all the bugs because we do have a Japanese beetle issue out here in East Tennessee. Um, but at the same time, maybe able to grow some vegetables, something in there year round, or at least get all my seeds cheaply so I don't have to buy the plants. Because they're like freaking, what are they, like five, six, six ninety nine a pop now for a six pack or eight ninety nine? I mean, it's expensive if you go buy all your plants. And then by the time you buy all your plants and all the dirt and everything you need to put them in the ground, hell, you might as well just bought them from the store, right? So my plan is I built this. I'm working on it, almost there. I'll show you some of it, getting this greenhouse together. I'll have some pictures I'll attach to break it down. And I just threw this puppy together. Now as crooked as a jaybird, it ain't straight to save my life, but I've been installing, putting this thing together with no help, holding boards up, long boards, you name it, trying to put it together, but it's gonna work. In the Marine Corps, we call it good enough for government work. Any of you that were in the military or any of you that work for the government, you know the term, good enough for government work. It works. It's gonna work long enough for me. Now let me break it down for you. All right, here she is. I'm excited because I just got all that tin on. That was the most expensive thing on this project. Um, very expensive. So I did have to buy four by four posts. I bought 12 footers. And here's the theory of what I did when I was explaining to my wife. So the sheets of the clear plastic come in 12 foot long sheets and they come in eight foot long sheets. So I didn't want a huge building. So I made this eight by eight. And that way I could do I could do sheets like this. I still got one more sheet. I got to cut an angle there. But then in the front is my highest peak. So I have two sheets there, right? And then in the back of this puppy, the way I built it is I'm gonna have three sheets, right? One, two, three sheets. And then the other side, I'll show you in a minute. But anyway, on the roof, the overhang of the roof, because they're 12 foot long uh, sheets, I went ahead and just made the roof 12 by 12. My wife's like, it does look funny. I agree. It's got a hell of an overhang on it. But that way I can do one, two, three, four, five, six sheets because uh, they're expensive. It's hard to find those on Facebook Marketplace cheap, um, but I had to buy those new. Those are like $40 a sheet. So that part was expensive across there. And then, of course, those are about $20 a piece. Um, so I needed two, what is it, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten just to do the three sides. And then of course, six sheets across the top. That's your big dollar stuff. And again, the majority of most of this wood, these two by fours were either leftover two by fours I had laying around in the yard. You can see how nasty and dirty they are. But majority of them there were that coal lumber. 
that's the lumber from your uh, Lowe's or Home Depot's to where it's got damages or imperfections on it where they can't sell it at full price. So I'd pick up all this lumber right here. And then I wanted to go ahead, I wanted to keep the weather off. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a little overhang. So I created a little porch here. And then of course I used a bunch of them deck boards I was telling you about. A lot of impurifications. Like, I mean, look at that. No one's gonna wanna put that on their deck of their house. So they gotta get rid of this wood. So I pick it up for next to nothing. Like I said, 50 to 75% off. So I just kind of made a little deck here. Um, I only use two by fours. It's sitting kind of in the dirt and on the ground. It probably is gonna rot eventually. I'm gonna try to stain the top of this. This ain't something that's probably gonna last forever, but it'll last long enough for us. And then of course, when you build the roof, same thing with these boards, a uh, little thin one by sixes, put in three of those. That way when you lay the tin on, you can have an area to screw down. I probably could have put another one in here. I did go a little shorthanded on it, but that's okay. So again, some four by four posts, four by four posts if you want a little porch on it. There's a door, same thing. If you go to Lowe's and Home Depot's, they have impurification doors, doors with issues, things like that. I got that door right there for $99, I think it was, a hundred bucks, something like that, or 75 bucks. And I actually had it on my other barn out there for a little bit, but I opened that end up. So I got to reuse that. And then of course there's just a cheap little window. Um, that was actually a, uh, uh, what do you call it? A uh, out of model, like they don't make it anymore. So you can find those on Facebook Marketplace. People got windows all the time. Didn't really need that, but I thought it'd be cool to get a window on there so I can get some cross ventilation. Uh, I'll show you a fan on the other side. I just got to put some tin right there. Put another little piece of tin there. I bought the other sheet of tin. It'll fit perfectly right there, standing straight. I just got to cut about a foot of it off. Then we got a door that goes in the room. So like I said, just two by fours, real simple. Just two and two, and then four by four posts, same thing, four by four posts, one, two, kept it real simple, attached the tin to it, and then here's the inside. I went ahead and continued the deck in to here, so we have a walkway. I'm gonna take and cement this around, and what I'm gonna do with this, guys, again, if you go to Lowe's and Home Depot, they got busted bags of concrete, and they're selling those bags for a buck or two. I just pour them on the ground, because I heard that concrete can be good with uh, absorbing heat, and that way, uh, put that on the ground, and then I'm gonna have shells that I'll set in here so we can grow plants. And then I told my wife with this high point up here, because we want the rain and stuff to go off the roof. But with this high point, we could do hanging baskets if we wanted. Uh, but that was my theory, man. And I don't know, I've got less than, less than uh, I would say, because of the stupid tin uh, or the clear plastic, I've got built into this thing, I don't know, six, 700 bucks worth of materials. Uh, price of materials is really high too right now. But again, this is all half off. I make sure to buy all that half off lumber. Don't be buying the nice new stuff unless you're in a hurry. I just built this stuff up. Okay, guys, I started buying it because I knew I've been buying some of this lumber for up to a year. I knew this was a project I was going to get to come fall when it was nice and cool and I could get out here and work on it. And then as I go along, I'm just making things up. So like I needed, there was about four inches short on the top. I happened to have one of those little one by four appearance boards from up, see the ones I had up top. I bought those for like two bucks a piece. I had some extras that was for the roof to be able to attach the sh uh, panels on when we go down on them. But here I can put a panel, another one. Here is an example of one. My goal, I have more of these out there, but I'm gonna put one and cut it so that it'll frame it in just like that all the way up just like I did that top one there, frame it up to there, and then you won't see the edges or the corners of the tin, plastic tin, and it'll look really cool. But just big enough for us, we'll be able to grow stuff in there, building a greenhouse on a budget, less than a grand. You can't even buy these things professionally done for like, I don't know, two, three grand or more, but just threw it together, guys, all by myself. Like I said, I had to sit up on a ladder and hold that two by 12 that's 12 foot long or two by six by 12 and balance it and get one screw in. I mean, this was, this was not fun. But again, like I said, I made some dire errors, some crooked, crooked stuff I did. Here's a prime example, check this out. I gotta share it with you. I was putting this in right here. See everything, it looks flat. I can put plastic across, but then look, this comes out to here. But this is all, this is all straight, right? But look over here. So if I try to put a plastic there, I need to, I'm gonna have to put another board across here but then if I do that, it's gonna stick out farther. Does that make sense to you? See how crooked I got there? <laughs> so I have to figure out something. Um, I might not put plastic there. 
I might just put a board or something else across there. Not 100% sure what I'll do. Oh, and then I was gonna show you was inside, right here, I gotta cut this out. I got a vent and I can put a lid back on or a piece you know, back over the top of it, but I got a vent that fits there. I prefabbed the hole for, and it's one of those solar powered attic vents. Um, my goal is to put it there and when I wanna be able to vent this thing, if it gets way too hot in here, I could turn that on or it'll you know turn it on because of the sun, solar powered. That was expensive for that vent. You don't have to have it, I guess, but, and then like I said, with this window, I can just open this window up, raise it up, and now I got air coming in. Don't have to open the door, have that turned on, and then it cool down in here. You wanna be real careful, make sure these kids, I have little kids, so they don't get locked in here. Um, oh, here was another mistake I made. <laughs> if you notice right here, check this out. I meant to put that on the outside edge. I put it on the inside edge. Over here, I put it on the outside edge. So when I got over to here to put my tin on, my tin's like, We're, we don't have nothing to attach to. So I had to put a secondary board. But again, this is like a couple bucks for a board because it's at 50% off. Stupid stuff, man. You know, I still got to figure out what I'm going to put in here to seal this up across here. It'll probably be a one by six or something uh, fascia board across there. So, and then I got that little triangle. I mean, just little pieces you got to put in. But again... You know, oh, and I love those those strong ties up top, guys. My God, those are the best. See these right here? These are absolutely worth a dollar something a piece. They're so freaking awesome because they hold your uh, roof in. I used every one of those uh, when I built those other barns out there. And then I like these too. I use these to attach like that. And so, see, got them down here. Those were left over from another project of mine. Um, so they didn't cost me more money. But um, those are great when you're putting things together. I know that video was probably long, but if you want to make yourself a makeshift uh, greenhouse, like I said, you can make one. Make it under a thousand bucks if you're buying all that stuff. Look for the damaged stuff. Go back to your your uh, door and window departments in your Home Depots and your Lowe's. See what they got. That's they always have stuff, man. They have stuff that gets dented, damaged, whatever it may be. You can pick it up for 50%, sometimes 80% off. Same thing with windows, man. They have windows all the time. Um, only thing is they never have the broken plastic. So it is what it is. You got to pay for that. But all that lumber, man, I'm telling you guys, go check it out. You'll find clearance lumber all the time. Buy that stuff up. Start building it up. Get your head, you know, your plan ahead of time. Stack it up in the yard. Build it up. And then give you get enough of it built up. Start building. Have some fun. Put together a greenhouse. This is, uh, this is building on a budget with the Marine. Thank you guys.